You're watching Update 2 on Cyclone Eunice, which is now a Category 5 storm with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 918 millibars. Its position 17.7 degrees south, 67.7 degrees east, as of 2 a.m. UTC on January the 30th. This storm, along with Bansi earlier this month, has set a record in the southwest Indian Ocean, the first time ever the two Category 5 storms have formed in the same area in the same month. The storm is expected to move towards the southeast, uh, continuing on its Category 5 peak for around 24 hours, we imagine, before the storm uh, begins to weaken and then eventually turning extratropical uh, way towards the southeast, uh, towards the eastern part of the South Indian Ocean uh, at low latitude. No areas of land are expected to be threatened by this storm, luckily, which is just as well as the storm is so strong. Sea surface temperatures are fairly high right now, around 28 degrees Celsius, but the storm is uh, leaving that area, slowly but surely, and very soon it will... Um begin to drop off a little bit but should remain around 26 degrees around that threshold for some time yet. Uh, the wind shear map shows low shear values around the storm's immediate vicinity, uh, increasing amounts to its north, decreasing amounts quite significantly to its southeast which is just where it's headed. And this is the water vapour imagery, you can see how the storm's influence is not quite reaching the islands of uh, Mauritius and Reunion, but not too far away. The central core is well away from any land areas whatsoever. Here's the latest satellite imagery in the past 12 hours, how the storm's been developing and progressing towards the southeast, uh, towards uh, 20 degrees south. And you can see the influence from the storm is extending quite away towards the north. You could argue that's a band there extending almost uh, towards the north of Madagascar. Um, but you can see the eye there as well. Uh, which is very clear indeed at this stage as it is with most if not all category 5 storms um, and it is a, it's an ex expanding one which is another indicator of just how strong this storm is it's uh, uh, lucky that it's not affecting any land areas at this time central core around the storm you see it's very strong indeed the northeastern quadrant appears to be the strongest part at least the most expansive part of the heavy uh, thunderstorm activity anyway as of january the 30th at 2 a.m utc that's the current system unice we have x diamandra which dissipated in the last 24 hours and we also have invest 99p which has also come on strong in the past few hours and could possibly develop in the next few days in 2015 so far this year we've had six tropical storms form around the world Three of those have become Category 1 cyclones with winds of 74 miles per hour plus, and two of those have Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour and higher. No prices for guessing which. Uh, of course, this is also the second Category 5 storm to form, as I said before, a record for the area in the month of January. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, is the main place to stay up to date for all the goings on around the world storm-wise. Of course, the video pages will also keep you readily updated, as will the Here Today, Storm Tomorrow episodes running most days. Of course, you can visit the social pages too, Force 13 on Facebook, at Force 13 on Twitter. You can also speak to me personally at Fool13 on Skype for tropical weather chat on there, and we've also formed a group there as well, uh, at the same address, uh, um, to be accepted into the group, just ask for that. Uh, the next update on this storm will follow in 12 hours' time. That's all for now.